Hey guys, Mwah. So today we have B Bay's first, I guess like non influencer collab. So they have collabed with Disney Color um, on a collection. And so the PR package came in this box here. And it's like a VHS tape look. It is so cool. Oh my God, I'm showing my age, but listen, I've got all of the disney's on vhs still that were my aunts and that they were mine when i was a kid and i literally have them all i still have a vhs player so when i saw this i actually died like i'm a big vhs fan and everything i just think they're so cool and just like really 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 remind me of my childhood but yeah we're gonna try some of the products from the collection today we're gonna do a little eye look and everything and do some swatches you guys requested on my stacy marie video the next time i do swatches so i've got you don't worry we're gonna do some swatches and ever and yeah let's get stuck in So it comes with three palettes that come in a little box and it is a palette trio so they come together um, and it is £20 for three palettes. Damn. I love the way that they've done a collab um, but they've still kept the price point really really low. Beauty Bay's own brand is known for being really really good quality at a really really low price point so I'm glad they've not like upped the prices just because it's a collab. So here I have the three palettes. So we have the Dumbo palette the Jungle Book palette and the Alice in Wonderland palette. Now I've come up with an Alice in Wonderland look. Like I love Alice in Wonderland. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love the way that they kind of steered away from princesses because you know what? I'm not a Disney princess fan. Like when I was a kid, my favorite Disney films were Sword in the Stone, Robin Hood, The Black Cauldron. Like it was my cousin that used to love, love, love the Disney princesses. So I'd watch them with her, but like at home, I'd watch The Little Mermaid. Um, I like The Little Mermaid probably, that was my probably favorite like out of the princess ones. Um, but yeah, I like the ones that weren't about princesses, you know, like I like the more like boy ones, I guess. Um, so I'm really, really happy. Like I was a big, big Jungle Book fan and everything so i'm really really happy that they kind of steered away from that and everything and it's like super cute that they have like little um mickey mouses embossed in them and i think they're really cute little color stories so this is the alice in wonderland and then we have the dumbo and then we have the jungle book which is really really cool because it's like cool toned and i definitely get like bagheera and blue kind of like the tones that are used in those characters from this kind of vibe Okay, now I'm gonna swatch them for you and please just don't judge my swatches. Like, I'm gonna do the best I can. I am just gonna do one swipe and that's it. Like, I'm not gonna go back and forth and rub or anything. My arm is just my arm, it is clean. I have not put a base down on it or anything. These are just swatches. So here we have the Alice in Wonderland palette swatched. And what I really like about these as well is that they don't have any shimmers in them. Like, I am not really like a big shimmer user. I do like a palette that's full of mattes. And I feel like you can get a bit more kind of variety of looks out of them when they are just mattes. And then we have the Jungle Book. So in the pans, the shadows feel really, really creamy when I'm dipping my finger into them. And they do have a really, really nice payoff. I am pretty impressed. Even the light colors are quite punchy on my arm. And then, then we have Dumbo, which is a really, really cute color story. So one of my best friend, Abby, Ab's Shadows, was actually in like the little campaign for this and she did the Alice in Wonderland palette. So I just knew that, you know, I had to keep the vibe and I had to do the Alice in Wonderland. So obviously I'm gonna be using this palette today. So I'm gonna start with priming my eye. So I'm gonna take the Be Perfect Eyeshadow Priming Base and just pop some of that on my eye. And you know what I've just noticed? Cause like, does anyone else, when palette names are on the back of the eyeshadow, I have no idea if it means that shade that's directly like underneath it or if it's like mirrored or what. And they've actually done colored Mickey Mouses in the Pantone that the color is in. Genius, take note other brands, please do this. That's such a good idea. So I'm gonna start with the shade Cheshire Cat 
tree which is a like dark blue shade in the palette and i am just gonna start drawing my shape for my cut crease and then i'm just gonna blend that out a little bit just in tiny little circular motions just on the edge of that shadow And then I'm going to take the shade Alice in Wonderland, which is a purple, and use the 50-50 method where you just place it on half on the eyeshadow that you've already done and half off. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with the shade Cheshire Cat Eyes. And again, just place that half on, half off. Okay, now I've got like the foundation of all my shades on, um, I'm gonna go back in with Alice in Wonderland and then go back in with Cheshire Cat Tree and just make sure my blend is really, really seamless and I'm really, really happy with the gradient. Okay, so they blended really, really nice. That was like super easy. That didn't take too much work at all, um, especially for the price point. Like, so what, each pound's like, what, seven pounds something? Like each palette is when you work it out, like, because there's three of them. My math is probably really, really off, but no, but yeah, the math was not my strong point in school. So, you know, that was wrong, don't judge me. So now I'm just gonna cut my crease. So to do this, I'm gonna take my Ultra Plant from Lush. I'm actually allergic to petroleum and petroleum is the main ingredient in Vaseline. So I have to use other stuff and I find this Ultra Plant from Lush is a really, really good alternative and it's natural and it's just like a lot more good for your skin. So then I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and clean it up. Okay, now that that's done, I'm gonna go back in with my eyeshadow base and cut that and um, and I've kept the cut quite low because I am going to draw some like flowers in graphic liner like oh, some little flowers and stuff like along here like the ones from the flower scene in Alice of Wonderland so I have kept when I open my eyes um I've kept it quite low like as low as I can because unfortunately I do have like hooded eyes so this is as low as I can go really without like losing the cut in my eye So then I'm gonna use the three mermaid the three remaining shades I have left in the palette. So I'm gonna start off with the white colour, which is Cheshire Cat Teeth. There's a lot of Cheshire Cat in, <laughs> in this palette. So then I'm gonna take the pink shade. which is called Cheshire Cat Stripe. Oh yeah, I've just realized that like, where I, when I said a shade was called Alice in Wonderland earlier, it's not called Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> it's just like, it says Alice in Wonderland and then it has like the shade and then it has the name underneath it and they're all called like Cheshire Cat something. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna take Cheshire Cat Face, which is the darky, like dark maroon kind of color. And I just go in there. So those blended really, really easy, like together from one to the other on the lid, like it's super, super easy. Like I don't even feel like I need to go back in and like blend or anything like that. Like they literally just kind of melted from one to the other really, really nicely. I think that's because they're so creamy. So I'm just gonna sharpen up the edge here. I'm just gonna use a wet wipe to do it. Okay, so there's that done. So, so far, really, really good. Really impressed, especially for the price point. That was really quick and really easy. Didn't require too much effort. Definitely, like, all user friendly, I would say. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to do the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so that is both eyes done. And I am just going to put my base makeup on. Um, well, some of it, like, just the creams. And then we are going to look at the cream blush sticks so i'll be back in a second okay so we have three lip and cheek duos so these retail for eight pound each which is really really good especially as you get one matte side and one shimmery side so i'm going to swatch them for you so first of all this is an alice in wonderland one and this is called mad hatter face and then we have another Alice in Wonderland one, which is called Mad Hatter Tongue. And then this one is a Pinocchio one, and it's called Pinocchio Shorts. These are seem super, super creamy, and they're actually really, really pigmented. Like, I didn't think they would come across that strong on my arm and bear in mind that was just with one swipe normally like things like this that are for the cheeks and eyes i normally just stick to the cheeks but i could definitely see how these would be pigmented enough to have a real pop on the lip as well so of course i'm going to use one of the alice in wonderland ones and i'm going to use mad hatter tongue which is the pink one and i think i'm going to use the matte shade so i'm just going to pop some on just like that and then blend that out and like let's just start off a small and get more intense depending on how it blends out so that seems really really nice blends out really really nicely doesn't require much effort or work so i'm just going to go in again with a bit more And that is super nice i feel like it's just enough pink where it's not like really really overpowering but it gives a nice rosiness to the face for sure it's nice that it's so buildable as well like i'm just really building it up because i want to be quite rosy and it's building up really really nicely yes i'm obsessed i love this i'm super super excited to see what it's gonna look like on the lips as well but yeah so i'm just going to do the rest of my face makeup and then we will check out the little eyeshadow sticks as well that i'm going to pop under my under eye and you see what's going to happen on the lips okay so we have two trios of shadow sticks and each trio is 15 pounds that's works out five pound per shadow stick which is pretty good so first of all we have a dumbo trio so we have the shade Dumbo Heart, Dumbo Sky, and then we have Jungle Sky. And this one says it's a Jungle Book one. So you get two Dumbo and one Jungle Book one in that one. So then we have Alice in Wonderland and we have the shade Cheshire Cat Fur, Mad Hatter Tongue, and Mad Hatter Face lastly. I'm gonna take the shade Mad Hatter Tongue and I'm just gonna run this along my low lash line, pray for me. Wow, that was like super creamy super easy i was thinking that i was gonna have to go in with a blending brush 
and blend it out but i feel like because it's domed it kind of does it for you so the main pressure is obviously at the tip of the dome and then as it goes into the belly of the dome it's going to apply less pressure so it's going to help to blend it out now there is like a couple of silver sparkles in this just bear in mind um they're not like a lot of them you can't see them that strongly i feel like they just kind of add a glint if that makes sense like they catch the light every now and again but they're not like really really strong they're not like super glittery oh and i'm actually trying to wipe these off and they are really hard to wipe off because it says they are smudge proof and yep i don't think i'm gonna be able to get them off my arm in time in the shower <laughs> so i'm just gonna line my lips just with a lip liner before i put this one on and then i think for this i'm gonna go in with the shiny side and just pop some of that on hmm, i feel like that looks really really nice kind of got like a satiny kind of finish to it and it's a nice color it's blended well in with the lip liner it's nice and creamy it's not gathering anywhere and it's not like going funny here like i hate like sometimes when lipsticks go funny like where they meet like the inside of your mouth but no that looks really really nice so of course like normal people would probably leave the look here put on some lashes mascara and some highlight and be done with it but we're extra here so i am gonna draw some flowers and some little things so to do that i've got like loads of cake liners and cake liner palettes because i'm going to probably end up having to mix some shades and everything and just go in so i'm going to do like a sped up of this because otherwise this video will literally be forever long and i know you will hate me if i do not include it like if i do i'm going to be back and come back with it because i know that you guys love to see this kind of stuff and how i do it and the process so i'm just going to speed it up and do it so hope you enjoy
Okay, so my camera did die, so I couldn't show like the butter butterfly. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure how I feel. Oh, these were so hard to do, so I'm definitely not doing them on the other eye and everything. I just hope that you can tell what they are and that it shows up in pictures and everything. Oh, I just like, I'm just really not sure. I kind of regret it, but I kind of don't. I kind of feel it looks good and I kind of feel like it doesn't. Ah. <laughs> Obviously the collection is amazing. It's so, so good. Like everything worked really, really well. Um, I really, really loved everything. Like there were no bad points, I feel like. I feel like it was a really, really well thought through, like with the customer in mind collection. Like I really, really feel like it was made for, for the people, you know? It was made for the people to use and everything. And everything has like a dual use, like, and the eye crayons were really, really good. I was really, really surprised. It's not normally a product that I would kind of reach for, but if they ever bring out more colors, I would definitely definitely buy them, especially in black or like browns, some nude kind of colors. I would definitely go for that, but I'm just looking at myself in the mirror, you know, looking at my highlight because it's on and popping. I uh, went for some green highlight. I just use peaches and cream pigment in the rattlesnake. If you're my complexion or darker, like you can use it as a highlight and it looks stunning but yeah overall collection i would say is a 10 out of 10 it's really really good if you were thinking about picking it up definitely do um there were no misses there was only hits literally only hits so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you're gonna get the collection down below i will leave um some links down below to the collection as well and um yeah i hope you have a good day night evening lunch brunch whatever it is where you are and bye guys Mwah.